Hi, I'm Pat Barber with Acer Enterprises. Habitubes for leaf pack restoration. Uh, we've been working for the past year and trying to develop a way to grow organisms in streams and hold them in place for extended periods of time. With some of the success that we've been working with, we came up with the idea to uh, the leaf pack. Habitubes for leaf pack restoration. Habitubes. It's a simple design. Basically, we're utilizing uh, core fabrics, jute materials, any kind of natural occurring materials that we can use. Uh, people are using sediment erosion control uh, measures, and we've taken them, created a tube that runs along, the, uh, long, long, along with the flow of the stream. Then uh, we take it and attach it to the bottom of the stream. Prior to that, we take it, stuff it with natural leaf materials. The materials that we've been utilizing are, are small sticks and leaves from the natural environment adjacent to the stream. We're trying not to bring anything in that would be a nuisance species. We try to avoid nuisance species in the streams. And one of the things we found out when we've been working with this material uh, are oaks, maples, sweet gums, black gums. They're all the best materials that we can use. We've used some willows in some of our packs. They tend to grow more, want to grow more. They don't, they don't attract the organisms that we're looking for. Uh, they don't tend to break down. Also, other species uh, like black locusts, other, the other types of locusts, they have natural materials that make them insect resistant, and the organisms don't like to, don't like to be able to eat that material. We take this material, basically, it's real simple, stuff it into the bag. Leaf material, everything. It all goes in the bag, it packs in, then we take the end of the bag and we tie it up. There's two ways we're doing this. We take them and sew them together with a natural material, or we take it and roll it over like this, and we'll cinch it together with a zip tie. The reason why we want to do this is we can come back later, and we can, we can take the material, cut the zip ties, and restuff them again, adding more material. We're finding now that it takes about two months. All the material in here will be eaten. Then we can come back and we can recharge that material. We can put more material back into the bags, and, and offer more for the organisms that are, that are coming through. We immediately get shredders. Then later on is when shredders, you know, they establish, we start getting more predatory insects. The predatory insects, uh, when we start dropping out and having less leaf, we lose our shredders. So we want to reintroduce those, so we sometimes we come back and restuff these. We're also putting into these materials uh, fish cakes to extend the period that the organisms will feed in these.